That's just how it works. Your corpses, your gateway to the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where a corpse was. Up on in. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You better try get to her as fast as you can. No time to lose. Who are you? Well then, stop making me watch the cutscene. All right then, enough with the dialogue. Uh huh. Tutorial, tutorial. Blender! Click. Who are you? Some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? We already went through this dialogue. Okay. Sister, three more steps. That's your chance to change your fate. What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. Looks like you made it just in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. You ought to be kidding me! The bridge is up! I get him like a wrecking ball Here's something uh, yes, over there. Bye. How's it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger... Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your power to avert that woman's fate. Well, you did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it.
I lost my life tonight and saved someone else's. Fuck! And I came back to the present, it was raining. Oh, no, you don't, ads. Newsies. And saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Oh no, now I must save her from cold. Stranger. A word strikes a chord. And a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Oh no, a ghost has amnesia. What a dark descent. Who am I? What is this place? Who are you? And most important of all, why? Oh, I guess I was. Why was I killed? I thought it was going to be, why am I? Don't get over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Uh, just call me Pixar. And then, ray of light in the darkness. Ray, huh? So you weren't going to tell me your real name, huh? I take it. You haven't told me your name either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yeah, so I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Our morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead, yes? I'd like to use them to save someone else's life. Whose life might that be? You even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. Think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? My bulb sh uh, shorted out. Not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow. Well, why don't you possess me? And then go back and save me. There. Game done. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. Does there really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. I'm gonna go and learn the uh, truth about your death as well. Well, you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. That's easy. Start with her. Person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that, you might even know who I am. Yeah, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight? A place like this. That woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. Key to everything? What do you mean? How should I know? Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Yeah. That's tutorial. Phone book. Alright then, wish you luck. 
Ah, right. Oh, that did a lot. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah, come on. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. And then I started talking to myself all by myself. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. At least you look cool when you're dead. Seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? All right. What kind of note? I write this note. Maybe I should give it a read. You don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it. I don't remember anything. Even more importantly. Phone! Didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but... wonder if you realized... Where is this telephone call coming from? Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert the fate, didn't a telephone call come in around this time too? Oh yeah. Yeah, we get it. It was for him. Ah, telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at the very moment on the other end of the telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you another one of ghost tricks. And then I saw, and I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. How is it zoomed out like that? When you, like, see the inside of his mouth or his ear? Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Dot, dot, dot. Who is this? Um, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. Ha ha ha. That's him, eh? Man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? Uh, you better believe I would. And you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. The internet. That would be. Dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say hey, what? I've done all I can to help you. You'll have to do the rest by yourself. You're not coming with me? No. You must go alone. My powers have grown weak. 
I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Ugh. Let me get a drinky. Ah. I'm grateful for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. It doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. You two are one in the same. One in the same? Metal Gear? Ugh, this desk lamp knows more, uh, a lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Oh wait, I was supposed to write that down? Rerouting. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with that fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? You obtained pictures. You obtained song. Illustrations. Chapter 2. Thank you all for watching. You're welcome to come see me record these episodes live at twitch.tv slash superbunnybun. You can also come say hi on Twitter at superbunnybun. But most importantly, I'd really appreciate it if you could like yourself comment about how awesome you are, and subscribe to Happy Thoughts. And until next time, stay spicy and huggable. Bye!